school bus driver in Seminole County who ran a red light and plowed into a power pole earlier this month is now off the job. And brand new right now, we're seeing video from inside the bus just as that crash happened. Several special needs students were on board when the bus driver ran a red light in front of Red Bug Lake Elementary, hit a car, and then a power pole. West News Marina Morocco joining us live with more of this video. And Marina, the bus driver has now resigned. That's right, and this is a copy of his resignation letter. He turned it in a day after the accident, and on December 11th, the school board approved his resignation. The school bus driver tries to take control over his steering wheel after crashing into a car and running right into a light post. She hit me. According to FHP, it was 66-year-old Jack Timmel who ran a red light and struck a car making a left turn onto the same road he was traveling on. On Tuesday morning, December 4th, six special needs students were on the bus on their way to Red Bug Elementary right across the street from the accident. Everybody all right? Yeah. An accident which could have been much worse if those six students hadn't been strapped in. But watch again as one of the adult supervisors on the bus swings off the seat and right into the aisle. The bus finally stops after hitting the light post about 30 feet from the intersection, sparks flying as the bus careens right into it. We spoke to a parent at Red Bug Elementary. She watched the video in awe. She was at the school volunteering that morning and knew something was wrong when the lights went out. She knows it could have been a lot worse. I do believe seatbelt played an important role in keeping all the students safe. Um, it, it's a tragedy what happened. It's, it's scary, it's sad, it's, it's full of emotion for me as a parent. And I am, I'm glad that all of the, the children on here walked away safe and uh, unharmed. Now some parents did express concern that that bus driver was driving on the day of the accident because back in January he had had another red light accident at the same intersection, this time with high school students on board. Nobody was injured then. He was cited for that accident and was also ticketed for this most recent one. Reporting live in Seminole County, Marina Morocco, West 2 News.